Hi, Jane. Thank you. Good morning. In strikes, Libyan radio has called on Arab countries throughout the Middle East to strike out at American installations everywhere, directing its message especially to Syria and Algeria. The Libyan state radio said, the honor of your nation calls on you now to attack everything that is American. Meanwhile, from Libya, casualty and damage reports are still incomplete. As Bryant reported, Libyan state radio says tens of civilians were killed and scores wounded. A Libyan official said Colonel Gaddafi survived the raid, but said two of his sons have been injured in the bombing attack. The BBC reports 100 casualties at the Central Hospital in Tripoli. And witnesses say a number of apartment buildings, some in residential areas, as well as military targets, were heavily damaged or destroyed. One of the 18 F-111 U.S. fighter bombers that took part in the attack on Libya still missing this morning with its two-man crew. Sixteen of the planes returned to a U.S. military base outside London. Another F-111 had mechanical trouble, forced to land at a U.S. base in southern Spain. All carrier-based U.S. aircraft returned safely. Libyan state radio claims that as many as 20 U.S. aircraft were shot down, a claim totally discounted by American officials. In justifying the attack in a nationwide radio and television broadcast, President Reagan said the United States was retaliating for what he termed Libya's reign of terror. More from White House correspondent Andrea Mitchell. Andrea, good morning. Good morning, John. Top White House officials said that the president was trying to send a message to Gaddafi and his elite guard, and that the decision to use military force against terrorism was a milestone, a turning point in American foreign policy. Despite our repeated warnings, Gaddafi continued his reckless policy of intimidation, his relentless pursuit of terror. He counted on America to be passive. He counted wrong. The president said the terrorist bombing of the West Berlin disco was ordered by the Libyan regime. Our evidence is direct, it is precise, it is irrefutable. Aid said the president rejected advice for an even deeper military strike opting for what they call a proportionate, measured response. After a secret briefing from the president, most congressional leaders were supportive. I think the president was justified, and I think the intelligence clearly points at Libya as a terroristic state. But some were worried. I'm concerned about this approach we're taking. Are we going to do this again and again and again? And officials here acknowledge that with the exception of Mrs. Thatcher, the European allies do not this, support this decision, but they say that there is an intention and that the allies are now on notice that the United States has crossed a very important threshold and if necessary, will do it again.